Hi, this is Brad with ProLight Gear, and today we're going to be talking about the Evernew Titanium Stove, and the Evernew Titanium DX Set, and the Cross Stand. Basically what we're going to do here in this little, this little test here is put a half an ounce of alcohol in the stove, and see how long it takes to boil two cups of water. We're going to see whether just the pot stand or the DX Set actually makes it more efficient using the diffuser or windscreen option. So for this test, we're using exactly two cups of water, meat thermometer saying exactly what temperature we have, and then a half an ounce of alcohol in the stove. Uh, hold on while I get things ready to test, and we'll go from there. All right, I have added one half, an ounce, of, one, one half ounce of denatured alcohol to this stove. The water temperature is exactly at 67.4 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to ignite the stove, start my stopwatch, and see how long the burn time is with this on half an ounce, and how long it takes to boil two cups of water. And we are started. I'm going to use two different cutways in this one, one after the first three minutes and then one as it's going out so you can do a water temperature test then so you can see just how hot it gets the water if it doesn't boil it on half an ounce of alcohol and the overall burn time. All right, we are at <clears throat> three minutes, 25 seconds roughly of burn time on this half an ounce of alcohol. There's definitely a lot of heat being generated out here. The stove. I'll try and show you this here in a minute, is jetting very nicely after it primed. There are small bubbles along the bottom of the surface. Uh, definitely not a rolling boil or anything shaping like that yet. We'll check in here in a few more minutes. Alright, just to show you what this stove looks like when it's fully jetting, that is the underneath of the stove. You can see right here, it's a little warm for me to get my hand next to. So I'm gonna use this nice little barbecue poker or lighter. It's coming out those holes right there, coming up Jerry, creating a nice little flame on the bottom of this pot. All right, we are at seven minutes, 30 seconds. You can definitely start hearing the pot bubble and boil, I'll try and be real quiet so you can hear that. Definitely starting to get to that boiling point. Not a full rolling boil yet, but this is hot enough for me to uh, definitely make my backpacker's pantry meal, anything along those lines. And the stove is still going strong. So, we are at Eight minutes on the nose right there to a full boil on half an ounce of alcohol. You can see the bubbles. Sorry to do this again to you, but we're going to lean forward. Full rolling boil at eight minutes, 15 seconds of cook time on half an ounce of alcohol. And the stove is still going strong. All right, we are approaching nine minutes, and the stove is just starting to peter out. <clears throat> that half ounce is getting burned up, and the stove is out at nine minutes, six seconds. But it did bring the water up to a full boil. We'll throw in a thermometer here, just to see how actually hot the water got. I'm not resting the thermometer on the bottom of the pan just in the middle of the water so you can kind of see where it's at. So we're climbing to 199, break 200, come on, you can do it. So 199 degrees is where it got to for the hot point, uh, which is plenty good if you're going to filter your water before you put it in the pot to make your meal, you can just add it straight to a backpacker's pantry meal, no big deal. 
So 8 minutes 15 seconds to a rolling boil with just the stove and the stand.